In this video, I'm going to show you how OnLink can help pull data from Microsoft Intune to JSM assets. So here I'm showing the JSM asset screen with the schema definition for Microsoft Intune. I have created a few different attributes and some of them are text. Some of them are also references to Azure users and you can have other referenced objects in the schema definition as well. In order to connect to Microsoft Intune, OnLink uses the standard Azure AD connection, and this can be configured in the connections tab of OnLink application. Once connection is established and the schema is also defined, you can come back to the OnLink application, go to the asset configuration tab, and create a new configuration for Intune. So here I have one configuration, so let me edit it. This is the configuration where you can provide the mapping from Intune into your assets object. So to begin with, you give it a name, select the source system, which is Intune, the object type, and then the mapping. So this is how you define what fields from Intune map to JSM assets attribute. Once this is defined, you can either schedule it so that data is pulled on a regular interval or you can also run it manually by running get data first followed by import. here let me go back to assets schema and show you a couple of objects that i have loaded in my previous executions so these are all the objects that were created let me click on one of them and here you will see name id user id device name etc all of them pulled from intune and they appear in assets you'll notice that the user id ref is a link to the user object because this is how we had defined so this user object andre is coming from my azure users so this is how the references work and on link provides support to pull all the elements of azure users including cost centers, departments, groups, licenses, and other attributes. And once Intune data is pulled, it can be linked to the same Azure user as well.